Yeah, y'all, what's up? 93 Sports News. I'm back at y'all with another video. So, all this chaos in Cleveland, Ohio is blowing up right in LeBron James's face, man. Um, Kyrie Irving is playing it smart, and he's beating LeBron James to the punch. All right? He's calling LeBron James bluff. I'm telling y'all right now. He's saying to himself, man... This motherfucker don't want to sign no extension with the team. Now, he did sign a three-year deal, $100 million contract last offseason, LeBron James, where he could opt out after the second season, where he can keep his leverage. And Kyrie understands how LeBron James operates, man, and also how he uh, was in uh, South Beach. You know what I'm saying? He always like to sign two, three-year deals where he can opt out and keep his leverage. And Kyrie understands that. And Kyrie understands that, listen, he has a home out in L.A. It's been rumblings that uh, he would like to uh, go to L.A., Los Angeles Lakers. Uh, his wife has talked about living L.A. full time. Um, there's really no need for LeBron James to stay there. You know what I'm saying? If he leaves, I mean, I think Cleveland Cavaliers fans will, will be upset, but it won't be how it was the first time around back in 2010. All right. He already won a championship, you know what I'm saying? He promised the city that he was going to bring his championship back to Cleveland, which he helped did, you know what I'm saying? So I don't think he would get the backlash of leaving Cleveland the second time. Now, if I'm Kyrie, I'm, what, 24, 25, I'm entering the prime of my career. Why the fuck would I stay in Cleveland where you don't have no history of attracting no free agents there? None. Even as great as LeBron James was the first stint, LeBron James couldn't even, as great as LeBron James was, he couldn't even attract free agents to come to Cleveland. Part of it was uh, management, but a lot of it do was nobody really wanted to be in Cleveland, man. Only the second stint where they was uh, spending money and they, you know, traded for uh, Kevin Love and they got a bunch of assets that they got in uh, previous drafts like Tristan Thompson, Kyrie Irving and the bunch. You know what I'm saying? So that's how he came back because he 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 wasn't gonna go back to Cleveland the second time if all these pieces was not gonna be in place. All right, he told the management, "Hey, y'all gonna have to spend money for me the second for the, for me to go back for a second time in Cleveland." All right, they're the number one team as far as spending money in the NBA. I think they're way over the cap. You know what I'm saying? So. LeBron James has not squashed, squashed any rumors about him uh, leaving a second time. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of rumblings. Where will he go? Uh, will he go to Houston to team up with his boy Chris Paul? Uh, like I said, will he go to L.A.? You know what I'm saying? Like, he, he hasn't made, a, made his mind up, obviously, because he hasn't squashed up none of the rumors. So if I'm Kyrie, why the fuck would I stay there? Just, there's no point. You know what I'm saying I'm looking around the league, you know what I'm saying? Everybody joining up, building super teams. You think I'm gonna be stuck out in Cleveland? I don't think so. And waste my prime years of my career where I'd rather be on a, a fresh young team. You know what I'm saying? If you put him with Pozingas in himself, man, that's a nice young building block. You know what I'm saying? You might attract free agents to come there, you know what I'm saying, in New York. Instead of you being by yourself with Kevin Love and, and overrated Tristan Thompson. You know what I'm saying? So Kyrie Irving has outsmarted LeBron James in this situation, man. He's calling this. He's calling this call. You either gonna sign an extension, or I'm rocking. I'm getting the fuck up out of here, man.